Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Danielle and on my channel you'll find things like luxury fashion, handbag unboxings, lifestyle beauty reviews, and more. And if that's something you're interested, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe, like this video, and if you enjoy it, and we're gonna jump into today's video. So if you are not new to my channel, you have probably noticed that I've been away. Um, I have been in the process of moving the last month. I posted my last video about a month ago. And during that time, I've moved states and I moved to a new city and um, I bought a house. So I'm in my new home right now. I'm in my um, room that I'm gonna be filming a future video. So ignore the background for now, which is kind of, um, what we're dealing with while we move in and get settled and everything. So um, that's kind of where we've been, been at and um, I haven't been able to buy anything um, luxury or really any big purchases while going through this process. So um, I hope you guys are still sticking around and watching my video and if you are, I really appreciate it. So I just want to kind of give you a little update on where I've been, but now we're going to jump into today's video, which you can tell by the title is a double Gucci unboxing. So now that I, we're settled in, um, I went to the mall and picked up two items from Gucci today. I just got back from the mall not too long ago and I just want to film this and unbox it and get to use my two new items. So I have a SLG and a handbag so if I'm gonna show the SLG first so then you'll see the handbag at the end so I have currently do not own any Gucci items I previously owned a pair of Gucci boots and I'll show a picture of them and I bought those almost two years ago in the fall of 2020 um, and I love them and I thought about them for a long time and it was something I really really wanted and really thought about the purchase and so I went ahead and bought them but with COVID at the time we weren't going out that much and I wasn't really wearing outfits to go with them and they just weren't getting the use that they deserved so I actually went ahead uh, about a year ago almost a year ago I sold them on fashion file because I truly only wore them one time and I just that's all um, the Gucci purchases I've ever made, but I've always enjoyed Gucci and I enjoy looking at pieces. And these are two things that I've really, really wanted recently. So that's my little story with Gucci. So we'll go ahead and start with the SLG. And I would just like to say, since the last time I purchased from Gucci, they've changed their packaging. My shoes I bought were in the old white and black Gucci packaging. And I actually really like this green and black. Um, Gucci packaging and I like how it's I don't know if you can tell but there's like texture to it I think it's like debossed into the box I really like that so this SLG I'll go ahead and show you so on the bottom it has all the little care items and then I bought the Gucci Gigi Supreme um, key pouch. So I wanted this key pouch instead of uh, once from like Louis Vuitton because I wanted just something a little bit different um, than the one from Louis Vuitton and I really really like this one. This one is more expensive than the Louis Vuitton one. Um, this retails for $360 US. So um, I'll give you a little close up. So it is their Gigi Supreme canvas. And then it has brown trim, like brown trim leather, and then the zipper is also brown. I'll go ahead and take the sticker off of this. And then um, the hardware is gold, and on here on the tab it says, you probably won't be able to tell. Oh, you can. It's backwards, but it says Gucci on it. So I'll go ahead. Yeah. And then on the inside, they have a little bit of stuffing, or the wrapping. The old key, pop, <clears throat> key floppy part. So um, with our new home, I want to have something to keep my car keys on and my house keys just so they're in one place because normally, previously I lived in an apartment so I didn't really have to worry about keys and things. So uh, it's definitely been an adjustment having to do that. 
So you can pop the little key fit on the end and you can still, super. So this will be perfect when I go to the gym too because then I can just take this and I'll have my keys and my house keys and everything. I can put my license in here and then it's good to go if I wanna run to the store really quick. It's really convenient. Um, cards and things can fit perfectly in there. So that is my little key pouch. So the second item I bought was the handbag, as you can see. It is, you can see it's a little smaller, it's not like a big bag. Um, if you, if I believe it's been a while since, it's been over a month since I, that, that video was posted, but on my seven bags on my radar, I believe I talked about this bag. If not, it was a different Gucci bag that I also really like, but either way. Gigi Supreme, as you can tell, I'm like into this Gigi Supreme because I got my key pouch, they match. So it's kind of perfect. I wasn't intending for them to match, but it's just kind of perfect. My husband said it was nice that they match together. Gigi Supreme Neo Vintage Messenger Bag. This is just like a camera bag. And um, like in the name, it has the Gigi Supreme prints on it in the canvas, and then it has this deep brown leather trim and it has Gucci logo on the front and it has this raised um, tiger head. The zippers have these awesome yellow um, leather pieces attached to them and the strap is amazing. It is the Gigi or the Gucci web strap. Well, um, it's actually fabric, but it's their classic green and red um, kind of web pattern together and another special thing about this bag is the hooks that the web strap are attached with. I just think they're really cool this different design like I've never seen this kind of hook on um, straps like this before so really special. So it's a tag on this. It retails for $1,350. The This bag had a massive price increase. It, not too long ago was like $980, which is crazy to me that it's gone up that much. But I'll go ahead and open it up. And on the inside, I'm going to take this stuff out. On the inside, it actually has this floral print on the inside that I really love. And I don't know if you can turn it this way. Um, there's a pocket on the inside. There's one interior pocket. But besides that, it's really just a big um, open hole of a bag, which is great. There's no, as you can see on the back, there's no back pocket, which is fine. Um, I'll take these little care booklets out. Yep, they're just little care booklets on the inside put those in the box with the stuffing. So that is my bag and I'm really, really excited to use it. Um, if you know my collection and you know my style, and I mentioned this before, I love casual everyday kind of bags and this really fits, um, fits perfectly for what I want. I wanted a more casual canvas bag because I have my Palm Springs mini backpack, which I love, um, but it's not a bag that I, I typically like to wear it as a backpack and not as a shoulder bag and I have my Louis Vuitton Beau Chapeau bag as well but I feel like that one's kind of more dressy while as this one kind of meets the need of both of those combined of like a shoulder bag but more casual and that's why I wanted to go with this one and it has a great price point for a canvas bag when Louis Vuitton um, canvas bags are creeping up a lot more. Even though it has, a, has had a price increase, I feel like 1300 is still a great price for, I, this would be a great starter bag. Um, it's very carefree with the canvas and everything. 
Um, it's coated canvas, so I'm really excited to use it. Um, when I tried on the store, I had the shirt on, I had jeans and sneakers, and this just kind of really went really well with that casual aesthetic that I love in my day-to-day -day wear. So I would highly suggest it if you're looking for a Gucci bag or a canvas bag and you're kind of like, oh, those Louis Vuitton prices are getting a little steep, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I would highly suggest it. I'm super, super excited. And it just has these details and these little accents that are just add a different element to it that you normally wouldn't see. And um, I think I haven't really gone to Gucci and look at their bags too much because I'm not a big Marmot person. I don't love um, the Gigi Marmot logo, but I love this. Like, even though it says it like right there in the Supreme, it's just, I just like it more than the Marmot and that's me personally. So that is my new Gucci Neo Supreme messenger bag, I believe is the name. It has a long name. So I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing my new bag and my new SLMG, my new key pouch. Um, and I hope you stick around for my new videos coming out soon. I will be definitely posting more frequently again now that I've settled and moved in and everything. So I hope you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe, stick around and see what I have coming in the future. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.